Yo, 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 welcome back to home of Super Bowl 56 here in Los Angeles. Matt. Yes, sir. You had the opportunity to play in three of these things. Yes, three sir. of them. I did. I came close to one. What's the biggest keys in handling the responsibilities during the week and uh, preparing for the game? You know what? It, it can be frustrating. It could be annoying because mm -hmm. you have so many people tugging at you from right. every which way, uh, wanting to be a part of the ball game, wanting to come to the ball game, wanting you, want you to accommodate them, right. flights, Hotels. hotel, even food. You know what I mean? So that can be annoying. I think for me, my first my first uh, road uh, rodeo to the Super Bowl, which was in Detroit, I told my mom, I said, listen, I only got a few of my tickets. Mm -hmm. I can't make everybody happy. Right. So this is who going. Of course, you got a seat. You know, everybody, you know, my sister, my stepdad, you know, and everyone else, I can't make happy. Right. So they're going to have to watch, uh, you know, from home. Mm -hmm. Now, also, I had the luxury, not the luxury, but one benefit. The game was in Detroit. It's oh, cold. Yeah, yeah, ain't nobody coming out you know, there. Most of our, you know, most our fam from we, South Florida, they're not going yeah, up there but the battle out. no snow. No. So a lot of people wasn't really tripping about going like that. And then Tampa was more, it was a little more, it was a bigger issue because, you know, from Florida. Mm -hmm. Tampa right up the street. Mm -hmm. So what I did was couldn't accommodate everybody in going, but I had a set up. Uh, like a at, watch party? A watch party. Okay. You know what I mean? So a lot of the fam came up, watched the game there, and then, of course, we had some people. I had some people in the stadium. And then the, in Dallas, which was the final Super Bowl I participated in, uh, a little further commute. Uh, but a lot of the family came up and, and, and was able to support me, like the walk-through practice on okay. Saturday where all the nice. family come. We took pictures. Uh, and then you just enjoyed the festivity. Now, in D Dallas, the weather was horrible. It, it was, was an ice storm, was. things like that. So he wasn't able to move around like you would like to. Uh, during the week of a Super Bowl, but that's the most annoying thing. You know, next year when you get a chance to play in this ball game, Pat P, mm. you know, you don't have to worry about getting me a ticket because <laughs> I done been to three of them. And, and that I, you have. I'll be working. But when you have everybody else coming down, knocking down, a, and they're going to expect tickets. Oh, no, I already know. That's the thing. You know, when you go to the Super Bowl, they're already going to think, oh, I know he got All me right, a ticket. He got me. He got me. No question. No, I, no, I, it, I can't know. Yeah, so did it get easier as the Super Bowls went on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, with you know every experience, it. you know how to handle it. Right. Now, my first one, I was so ex I was, I was a rookie. Right. You know what I mean? Something, I'm first, Super first year out. No question, man. I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything big, man. Mm. I, I, I spent two hundred dollars <laughs> for a haircut in Detroit. I had got Beijing and everything. <laughs> Put the paint where it ain't. Man, that paint came down to my face on the first day of that ball game. I couldn't even see. I thought I was sweating black marker. <laughs> Man, I almost, man, listen, I told you I almost passed out because I was breathing so hard. Right. But them, I listen to the older guys. If you look at Jerome Bettis, you look at James, uh, Boy, Joey Pope, them boys had that Beijing, that edge, you be super tight. So, shoot, I said, hey, yeah, Super Bowl, <laughs> I'm going to spend $200 on the, on the, you know, I'm cheap. Get the Beijing. I, I'm going to get the Beijing. Little did I know, if you don't let it die and sit long enough, right. it's going to drain it's when you start, start sweating. Drinking. Man, I went to put my helmet on. I said, man, what's wrong with me? <laughs> man, I had all kind of black eye. eye black all over I you. Said, what, what's going on? I took my helmet off, my helmet black. I'm like, man, man, I said, never again. Never but again. You, you do things, you want to treat yourself. Right. You know what I mean? You know how to, every time you go to Pro Bowl, you buy a gift, right? You get a watch. Oh, yeah. You nice know what I mean? You, you do things, Always. you treat yourself. But it's a great experience. You get extra money. Everybody's watching. Uh -huh. Think about this. This is the one game, if you're a casual football fan, you can watch. Everybody's watching this. Everybody. The whole world's watching it. No, and, and, and also, too, Pat P, I tell you this, and, and you, know, you can speak about this. Mm. I don't care what level of player you are. You get nervous in certain moments mm -hmm. of a ball game. Right. Maybe the first game. Right. You know what I mean? First prime time game. This game right here, my first time playing. You nervous the I whole game? I was nervous. Because I was like, yo, I'm young. I was one of the youngest players on defense. I'm like, I don't want to have a play that could prevent us right. from winning. Right. Because people going to remember that. Right. Think about some <laughs> of the mishandled plays from individuals oh, yeah. in past Super Bowls oh, that yeah. we all remember. Like, that's the reason why we yeah. lost. Mm -hmm. Even though one play – doesn't determine the, the, the if you win or lose, but it could put definitely put you in a better position to win or lose. Yeah. So I was nervous from that standpoint, Pat P. But it's an unbelievable experience. Man. I bet it is, man. I can't wait to uh, have opportunity to yeah. live that live that uh, live that life out for sure. Yeah. But what you got? I know we talked about this story a numerous a number of times. Yeah. Super Bowl forty three. You have any regrets of that night? No. <laughs> no, I do it all over again. You do it again? You know, we played Boo Ray. I know. If y'all know this story, like for us in Pittsburgh, we play cards all the time. We travel on game day on Saturdays. We play cards all Saturday night throughout the week. We play a game of Boo Ray. And one thing that we learned in 2005, mm. whatever we did to get to this point mm. to play, don't change it. You know, right. some people get tight. They change their res the resume, uh, yeah. the regiment. Uh -huh. You know, if you get a, a massage on Tuesday, you want to do it on Thursday. No. 
Do whatever you did to get to that moment. Mm-hmm. Don't change it. So for us, we were like, man, if we've been hanging out on Friday nights, mm-hmm. why, why stop? Because we're in the playoffs. Right. Don't change up your regimen. Yeah, I agree. So for us, every night of a ball game, we always play cards. Mm-hmm. And we play at 1 o'clock or 4 p.m. Luckily for us, the game Super Bowl is 6.30 six. Yeah. Eastern. Yeah, so you had a little time. It was almost like a, uh, that night game during the season. No question. So we in Tampa. And you know the thing about when you get the Super Bowl, you get more money. Yeah. So, you know, you might do the things a little differently than what you would normally do because you got more money in your pocket. <laughs> yeah. So we playing. I'm not saying we was actually playing for money or not. I'm uh-huh. not saying that. Uh-huh. But it was an intense game. Right. And the intensity of that game, I Push didn't ups. get to my room until 8 a.m. Mm. What time morning. were meetings? 10, 11? No, the first thing we had was breakfast. Okay. So that's at 9. Yeah, I, I got there late. We all didn't get that room to 8. Mm. That's the thing. We had about eight to ten guys involved in that card game. Yeah, I went out there and won the Super Bowl. But when we got to the locker rooms, you can tell who ain't got no sleep. <laughs> hey, hey, I walk in the locker room, I don't even cuss, but I cuss myself. I said, man, you got to be so stupid. <laughs> How did you do that? That's the night dumb. before the game. Man, we got to the, the stadium around 4 o'clock. I'm dog tired. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm seeing double. I'm like, man, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and I remember James Ferrier told her, he said, listen, whatever y'all do, don't let this story get out. Because mm. if it get out and we lose, they're going to say that's the reason why we lost. Because mm. all most of the guys on the defense side was up all night playing cards. And you mm. remember the boat trip? Yeah. The boys from the Giants, when they went on the boat trip yeah. the week before they played mm-hmm. Green Bay, everybody talked about that as yeah. the reason why they lost. But for us, I wouldn't do it all over again. You know, yeah. Blue Ray, you play the game. Oh, you yeah. know, Love the game. It's, it's what brought us together. Love the game. But the intensity, man, that, that, that card game was just as intense as Super Bowl 43. And wow. you remember it was intense plays in that, in that, that game. That it was. That it was. We gambled. Came down to the wire. <laughs> it came down to the wire. That's how that card game was. I bet it was. It Last one before we uh, toss the break yes, here. Yes, sir. Obviously, we know we all know you played in three Super Bowls, and all halftime shows are different. But this one's going to oh, be man. a mega halftime show. Yeah. How do you handle the lengthy the, uh, the uh, lengthy halftime? Man, because, you know, usually for us, when we go into halftime for a normal ball game, you might 17 be in minutes. 17 minutes, but mm-hmm. you're not actually in the locker room 17 right. minutes. You mm-hmm. might be in the locker room maybe 8 to 9. Right. And you go over quick adjustments, you drink some water, eat some oranges, you back on the football field. Here, you sitting, you sitting, you go over adjustments, and then usually for us, start. we, we treat halftime like it was the beginning of the game, like we haven't went out yet. So you okay. go through your regiment, you know, you you... you you stretch, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, go over. You have er- extra time to, uh, you know, prep and get prepared to make any adjustments, uh, execute any adjustments. That's the only thing, though. And, you know, a lot of guys, you get a- you get anxious and you want to get out there, but it's a long, long. I bet. And for us as fans, when we watch the Super Bowl, it doesn't seem that long because we're watching the halftime show. Right. But for us as players, it seems extremely long because mm-hmm. we don't watch it. Mm-hmm. Now, this year, hey, if you're a player, you might want to, Tap in because it's gonna be some. It's gonna be live. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, live. a, a memorable halftime show. But halftime shows in Super Bowl, man, it's not a big deal because you you those are champagne problems. Mm, champagne problems. Yeah, like that's that. what we call champagne problems, and you want those problems. Yeah, you you definitely want those problems. Exactly, being one exactly. of the last two teams uh, standing at, at the end of the season, but 